this is Faux Real here. Uh, I'm doing a review for the Dying Light uh, mod from Nexus Mods. Um, I guess it's not really a mod for the game, rather just a mod, uh, or a manager rather, to edit some of the settings um, that aren't included in the end games menu and some settings that are included. Uh, but it's just an easy little program that uh, allows you to mess with some of the extra things about the game that that really isn't included in the options for the most part. So this is the Dying Light Manager version 0.10a and it works with uh, Dying Light version 1.3.0.0 by Vizmix Owns, aka Leaves Owns. Um, it's compatible with Windows XP or Windows 64-bit systems. Um, there's a bunch of information here. You could go to the web page, which is under Nexus Mods. It's uh, Dying Light Manager. It's currently the uh, number one mod for this game right now. Um, so I'm just going to read off some of the notes here from the description. Uh, the file should have finished downloading, and I'll go ahead and open that up in just a moment here. So there's a note. If you have already installed some mods, back them up before using the manager. After you made your settings, you can apply them simply by copying and pasting them. If you have to overwrite existing files, the settings indicated with the overwritten files will not work properly. If you made changes on the game settings menu, like low textures, etc., do not enter the graphics menu. It will, re it will reset the whole file. Um, black screen or stuck screen. If you experience this problem while disabled chromatic aberration, make sure your motion blur is turned on at the end game setting. If you don't like motion blur, you can disable it via the manager. Motion blur has to be enabled in game while disabled chromatic aberration. It won't be shown anyway if disabled at the manager. Don't forget an alpha problems occur and he's trying to fix them as soon as possible. I highly recommend to keep the old version if that worked fine for you too if you experience problems uh, let them know at the post section alright guys so I have this file downloaded I'm gonna go ahead and open it up right now um, I already opened up once and I checked it out a bit um, yeah it's, it seems the initial screen didn't appear so basically ask you where your Dying Light game is stored mine shows down here it's in uh, e games Dying Light Dying Light Dying Light game exe and you just have to select that uh, exe file Oops. You just have to select that exe file and uh, it'll load the settings for you and it, it seems I already have this stuff enabled because this is some stuff that I've went through and I'm not, I'm not going to read all of the description for these options um, but you know some of them I might go over because I find that they might be important or easy to review. Um, so there's just a couple basic settings. You have fil enable the film grain which is the grainy effect that's with Dying Light. You've probably noticed if you've played it for a bit. All you have to do is uh, unclick that checkbox and it will disable the film grain. Uh, the sun lightning, um, blurry reflections. Uh, I'm gonna disable that. Uh, sun shadows, yeah, I'll have shadows from the sun. Environment shadows, yeah. Screen drops, uh, blood, water slime, yeah, I keep that. Chromatic aberration. Uh, I'm, I know there's a technical uh, description for that. I don't really know the technical description, um, but I'm pretty sure chromatic aberration is when colors distort and they're not the natural color that it's supposed to be on the screen uh, for some reason. I'm going to disable that. It's pretty recommended uh, by a lot of people. Floating particles, I'll keep those. Clouds, yeah, pigeons, lens flares, HUD. Um, okay, here's another section. It's the start commands. Um, no intro videos. I'm gonna start that up so I could just get right into the game. Asynchrone subtitles. Uh, the game to desync subtitles. Uh, I'm just gonna leave it on. I want it synced. Uh, borderless window mode is so that you could be in window mode, not necessarily full screen, but there's no border on it. Um, this is good for switching back and forth between windows you won't have to minimize from full screen but it'll still have a full screen effect um, some people like it i prefer full screen uh, set priority will allow you to um, prefer setting uh, memory from your ram and your cpu i believe um, to this game and it'll give it preference rather than to other programs 
boost, you could disable the shadows, enable rendering reflections. Uh, this sends it to your CPU instead of your GPU um, in case you don't really have a good graphics card and you think your, your processor is better. Um, disable motion blur effects, disable depth, depth of field, disable rain effects, those are all pretty uh, easy to understand. Look at watch key, this is an interesting little feature here. Um, this makes it so that you can look at your watch at any time instead of just in the safe zone. Um, so you just press whatever key you'd like, uh, it's on 4 by default. And there's a note, you can only look at the watch if you have at least finished the first airdrop mission, which enables the day and night cycle. So keep that in mind. Injection filtering, check this box to inject filter settings to adjust the string color and tone map. Um, I think you use the scroll, it says toggle scroll, so use the scroll in game to toggle different filters. I guess, I don't know, I'm just gonna leave that disabled because I don't really know um, what it means. So. I'm gonna go down here and you have to, it says there's a note, you have to enable mods first if you want the functions to work properly. Enable mods. Um, hopefully that, that still works um, because I changed these functions before enabling mods. Um, but if that doesn't work, then just go back in and do that first and then change the settings, I'm not sure. Um, I haven't really ran it before, but that's the overall review of uh, this manager. And it seems to be pretty popular right now. It's a really easy way to edit some of the game settings that aren't really inclu included in the in-game options menu. So uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you enjoy this neat little manager, and have a good one.